Hi, welcome back to Dallas Sports. Ryan here. If you like to improve your passing as a scrum off, then keep watching. Today, we've got a few things that I'm going to use that you can utilize to improve your technique and to give you more confidence as a scrum off. Number one thing about a scrum off is you need to be able to pass. Okay, not just pass, but you need to be able to make that your superpower to be able to be accurate and also have a strong pass. Now, a lot of things that I used to use in the past, I've got these super bands or stretch bands. Um, I bought a bag um, for about 19 pounds a couple of years ago. I'm talking about quite, quite, quite some time ago. I can leave the uh, link uh, in the, you know, below on, on this video. Um, go and check it out. It's very useful. You can use it for a lot of different things. I've used it for passing as well. Now I imagine that I'm obviously passing a rugby ball. You can set this up in the house, especially when the weather's not great. But today, thankfully, we've got amazing weather, okay? That's why we're making this video for you. So imagine, imagine I'm picking the ball. The ball's here, okay? So there's a bit of resistance when I'm passing. So what this will improve on is when you stretch out, it's gonna throw you off balance. It's gonna pull you back. This will help you to stay in the pass longer, all right? Especially long balls, right? And also your height. This will improve your height, your posture. You really need to work hard on your core, working with super bands, okay? It's not just about pulling it back and forth. I'll show you how to do it. So you do four reps, okay? So start really low, feet together. Okay, I'm passing that direction. My dominant hand is obviously holding the super band. I look where I'm passing, and as I'm stepping, I'm gonna stretch out and sink my hips to the ground, watch. Okay, nice and low. I keep it there for three seconds. Step back, look, pass. So what's the timing? I step first before I pass. Step, and then pull, bang. Okay, and one more, step, and accelerate, okay? Try to do that both sides, right? This is what it will look like from behind. Left hand, feet together, look, accelerate, okay? Obviously you can do it, you can do three sets of four reps to five reps. I'm already out of breath, just demonstrating. Now imagine you do this for a couple of times and then you take a rugby ball and then you do the same thing. Hands up, look, and stretch. And again, sink, and stretch. Okay, the idea is I know where the ball is. I'm not even looking, because I'm looking where I'm passing. This is practicing my peripheral vision. There, step, and hold. So guys, that's one thing. Another one is a lot of guys, a lot of times we go on our knee, we practice passing the ball. Okay, you could do the same. There, a couple of times, look and stretch out. Now look at my dominant hand. My thumb is up as I'm releasing the ball. See that? Okay. The other, the other thing is, uh, I've had a, another video about a handshake. The handshake pass, go and check it out. Go on the playlist. And uh, it's quite, it's a short one as well. So it's very useful technique, pass, handshake, okay? Then you can obviously add a physio ball for balance and also for your flexibility. Now the idea is, okay, when you're passing, a lot of times we are whooping the ball and one foot comes off the ground and then we end up rotating our upper body too much. This will really help if you stand on one leg, okay, passing on your same foot, same arm, and pulling it, bang, okay, ball on the hip, and then punch out. The idea is, this is obviously giving resistance, pulling me back, okay, now in case you're wondering why am I doing, why am I doing what I'm doing, when you pass sometimes, this is what happens, see that, as you're passing, Okay, the idea is that foot comes off and this is when we end up rotating too much and we lose power and that's why the ball dips. To prevent that, 
just strengthen it. Strengthen the, te the technique. Okay, same foot, same hand, stretch band. If you have access to one, and punch it out, bang, tense the core. Just like so, okay? And then swap sides. Other foot as well, it's important to practice both sides. Okay, when you're in a ruck situation, you pick the ball up, the one foot comes up as you're passing, that's also you're losing a lot of power. So what we're doing is we're challenging all the areas. There, punch out. So what you'll feel is this thing is pulling you back and you've got to keep your balance. Okay, it's not as easy as you think. It's quite challenging. I would say three reps to 10 on each side, especially when it comes to balance. Good balance will take you a long way, okay? Then the next one is when you have your foot on, okay, on the ball, just like so. Okay, make sure you get your foot, oops. Make sure you get your foot on the ball. Oh, so this is a lot more tricky. Okay, the idea is same foot, same hand. Okay, tense the core. And again, look, and again. Okay, so it's really useful to spend time, especially when the weather's not great and you can't go outside. Do this in your room. Find space to do it in the house. Okay, especially youngsters have permission from mom and dad. And just keep working on it. There's no excuses, okay? A lot of guys look out, yeah, I wanna play the best rugby, higher performance. This is what you can do to improve. Um, the other one would be, like I said, there's a lot more to it. The other one would be if you use a physical ball to help you with to help you with opening up your arms and not do this or this. Use the physical ball. Watch. Foot together. Okay. I'll show you again. Sink the hips. Open up. Foot. Look. From there, bang, keep your balance. Okay, so I'm looking over my glasses as well. Give me good height and good distance in the pass and power. Um, let's see what it looks like if I do pass. Okay, there's my target. Okay, foot together, palms together, step. Okay, nice and low. I hope that makes sense. Like I said, as usual, we end up overthinking things. You can make training a lot more fun. Um, another one is passing the side to work on your wrist from in to out. We all know this one. Okay, but look what happens, I open up my arm. Okay, what we do can, what we can do, same again, stretch bend, pass. Stretch bend, pass, 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 okay? Over, pass, rotate, really rotate that, that shoulder and upper body, tense, okay? And then the next one is when you're facing a target. The ball is in line with your knee because this is where your foot will be. Okay, open up from there to there. Okay. I hope you really like this video. If you have any other questions or anything you would like me to add, please keep watching and we'll see you next time.